No way, Ray. You're, you're dreaming, Chuck. Oh, no, Skip. It wasn't a dream. It was washing machine Charlie. I saw the bomb hit the cook shack. It blew it sky high. Well, well, it must have all come down in one piece, then. You see? It's still there, like always. You had a nightmare, Pakasan. I guess I put too much chili peppers in chop suey. Yeah, come on, boys. Back to the sack. Come on, Chuck. Well, it must have been my imagination, Skip. But I'm telling you, that dream was so real. I could just see the snip plane starting to make its run. And then it came barreling in. Machine guns blazing. <laughs> Hit the deck! Whew. Man, when you dream, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Look! Those crazy Japanese blew up my cook shop. How could you? My own people. <laughs> Tell you every little thing that's gonna happen. What about last night? Don't tell me that was just beginner's luck. Well, no. Matter of fact, my mother always said I was a little supernatural. <laughs> when you got ESP, though, you can't just turn it on and off. ESP? What's that? I learned about it in college psychology. Uh, ESP means extrasensory perception. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean you have any extra sense. Uh, matter of fact, I flunked the course. <laughs> it's important to in my book. You're a seagoing swami. Now look, there's a crap game tonight with some high roller marines. So close your eyes and concentrate on money. Am I gonna put or take? Now come on, Mr. Parker. Please, Mr. P. I'll, I'll give it a try. Anything coming? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting something. I'm getting. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just can't get through the crap game. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Something's coming. Something's big. Hey, gang! Get a load of this. What do you got? What gift? Hey, it looks like a treasure chest. Yeah, I was skin diving off the reef, and I found on a wreck of an old trading schooner. Well, what's in it? Oh, oh, open up. Yeah, oh, open up. Come back, come back. Come back. There it is. Um, Hey, it's a map. Hey, it's in Japanese. Uh, what does it say, Fuji? Bajiri san, you hit the honorable jackpot. This is a map of Berry the treasure. Berry treasure. Mr. Parker, a uh, correction, Swami. You've done it again. Hey, you guys, what's all the racket? It's Berry treasure. What could I be rich, Skip? Three cheers for ESP. Another dazzling exhibition of Mr. Parker's occult powers. He had a premonition about it, and it came true. Yes, Skip, sir. Map says Japanese played a very fortune on Talatupa. Well, then that's the real thing, Skip. We're going to be rich. Treasure maps are a dime a dozen out here in the South Pacific. Besides, we're in enough trouble with Binghamton already without digging holes all over the place. Here. Come on, Chuck. We're Dover at Mainside. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's trying to come through again. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a funny feeling. Well, scratch it. Maybe it'll feel better. <laughs> hey, you're right. Maybe you got ESP, too. <laughs> Happy anniversary. 
double strand of matched pearls from the South Pacific, huh? Oh, I tell you, those girls at the yacht club back home, they're gonna flip their girdles when you walk in where are these. <laughs> oh, sir, let me fasten those for you. Huh? Oh, thank you very much. What do you mean, bursting in here like this on me? I would uh, I just wondered what they would look like, that's all. Oh, they're, they're very becoming, sir. Uh, oh, do you think they are? Yes, sir. Are they're not <laughs> For my wife. Oh, 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 of course, sir. I, well, sir, I really didn't think that you were going. Well, you better not think. I mean, any loose talk around the base, and I'll tear those stripes off you with my bare hands. It's a lovely string of pearls, sir. I'm sure your wife will be delighted. Well, she better be hysterical. A string of pearls like this back in the states would cost you a thousand dollars. Of course, I didn't pay a thousand dollars for them, you know. There's this officer in the New Hebrides, and I got a price from this. What do you mean, barging in here like this? Why, why, why? Uh, sir, the CBs are extending the runways out at the airstrip, and they request permission to blow up some tree stumps. All right, blow, blow, blow. I gotta get these pearls wrapped and packed them in the mail. Get my shirt. Oh, yes, sir. Allow me, sir. Here, put your hand in there. I'd just like to help you as much as I can, sir. Can you get that there? Let's get away from me! You're almost breaking my pearls. <laughs> All right, Chuck, what's bugging you? Are you sore because I scuttled your treasure hunt? Oh, no, no, it's not that, Skip. I, I'm just worried. I keep getting another premonition, but I can't pinpoint it. Hey, that's it! Captain Binghamton! Oh, boy, the feeling's coming in stronger, Skip. I gotta warn him. It's the only sporting thing to do. Wait, wait a minute. Warn him? What are you talking about? A premonition, Skip. The captain's gonna get blown up in an air raid. Again with an air raid? Look, you go giving him that premonition, Jazz, and you'll wind up with a Section 8. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Oh, it was up to now. What are you doing over here? I told you, sir, air raid, air raid! <laughs> They're just blasting tree stumps. Oh, what's it? My pearl necklace. Where's my pearl necklace? Pearl necklace, sir? Pearl, pearl? Well, there must be some mistake. There was nothing about pearls in my premonition. Oh, oh my pearls. Oh. Oh, my poor pearls. Oh. Oh, what a lamb chop day. Did you lose lamb chops too, sir? Skip, we better help him find his lamb chops. No, 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 Captain, don't blow your steak, don't blow your steak. Yeah, he's, he's, it's just a little mistake. Yeah, my ESP goofed. <laughs> you witch did what? Well, you see, sir, I had a premonition that you were going to get blown up in an air raid. Well, I'm sort of psychic. Is that what you are, you sort of psychic, are you? Then it shouldn't be hard for you to read my mind right now, should it? Uh, <clears throat> no, sir. You're going to ship me off to the Aleutians. That's right. Now you pack your crystal ball and you go. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, be reasonable, Captain. It must be easier to replace some costume jewelry than an, an executive officer, sir. Costume jewelry, huh? All right, Mikhail, we'll have it your way. If this great white ape is so valuable to you, you'll get up $1,000 and then he's all yours. $1,000? That's what these genuine pearls that you call costume jewelry cost. Now I'm leaving for conflict this afternoon. You've got just 24 hours to raise that money or Parker here joins the abominable snowman. Any questions? Well, I have a question, sir. What outfit is he with? <laughs> Boy, a thousand bucks in 24 hours. Ah, uh, that's impossible. Well, we gotta try something. I uh, appreciate you guys trying to help me, but it's all my fault. Oh, now, come on, Mr. Parker. Don't give up without giving it a good old fight. Throw a trance. You'll come up with something, huh? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Take it easy, will you, you guys? Something. Let them concentrate. Right. <laughs> well, could give it a try, I suppose. Ah, uh, no. No. No, no, no. Hold it. That's it, Mr. Parker. You've done it again. Now what I do? You're psyched into the solution. Here it is, the treasure map. This has got to be a thousand bucks, though. Please. Man. Oh, now, wait a minute. You know what the skip said about that. Besides, you're the psycho. Mr. Parker, the old ESP has already hit twice. This is the big one. Come on. Lead on. Show us where the treasure is hidden. Go. <laughs> 
17, 18, 19. Oh, that's it. 20 paces to the giant coconut farm. Yeah, I made it in a fraction over 19. Yeah. You better take smaller paces. Well, gentlemen, we're on the last lap. From the giant coconut tree, 40 paces. There you go, sir. Straight ahead. Right. The pot of gold. One, two, three, four. Hey, let's get the pig and shovels, men. The swami's on the beach. Right, don't forget, I got my pick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, twenty-five. Turn left. Six, seven, eight, nine. Get out of my bathroom. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I just went in for a drink of treasure. I, I'm going to me water. <laughs> I'll drink of water, you. What are you trying to do? Burglarize my quarters to raise that thousand dollars? No, sir. No, sir. I, I really, I was really parched. Well, look at my throat. Oh, that doesn't look very I don't care about your throat. Just shut your mouth when you talk to me. Now I'm leaving for Conflict, and I'll be back by 0700 hours, and you better have that money. Cash on the barrel head, or you're out, 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 out. Yes, sir. Of course. Uh, have a nice trip, sir. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I thought, I thought, here's your toothbrush, sir. Well, Mr. Parker, what in the heck are you doing in Binghamton's hut? Well, where do we start digging? Where's the treasure? Yeah, come on. Ten feet under the captain's bathtub. <laughs> bathtub? Oh, that sure kicks that in the head. Hey, guys, here comes the skip. Hey, Skip, come hey, here. Skip, come on over here. Skip, where have you been? Uh, I've been out trying to raise some dough to get you off the hook, Chuck, but all the guys that owe me money are busted till payday. <laughs> hey, how come you guys are here? And then what's with all the tools? Oh, well, now, now Skip, uh, don't get sore, but uh, we thought if we could uh, dig up that buried treasure, we could maybe get uh, Mr. Parker squared away and... Uh, Skip, we're sorry, but we know you didn't go along with it. Well, I didn't go along with it then. But right now, I can't think of any other way of raising a thousand. So come on, let's go. Where do we start digging? Mr. Parker has already uh, located it. He's got it paced off. Well, good, let's get going. We haven't got much time. We might have to move a small building. <laughs> well, no sweat. We'll, uh, we'll get a half track and just haul it out of the way. What building is it, Chuck? Captain's hut. Right, well, that's no problem. We just... The captain's hut? I ooh. All right, come on, you guys. Let's go. Let's get the hook down. Well, we've done some wild things, but moving the captain's hut. Well, that's the only way we can get to the treasure. And you better pray that there is some treasure down there, at least $1,000 worth. Right. Now I lay me down to sleep. Let's get him. Okay, saddle up, Christy. Let's go. Bless Aunt Please. Regina and Cousin Wally and Uncle Fred and Mike and Sam and Roy. All right, that'll do it. That'll do it, Chuck. Let's go. All right, take a strain, take a strain. Easy, easy. <laughs> Ensign, you're going to like it here on Taratupa. Our CO is a regular guy. As a matter of fact, we all call him Old Lead Bottom. Old Lead, oh! <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir, I... I didn't expect you until tomorrow morning, sir. Well, the Admiral set the meeting back a week. I oh. made the whole trip for nothing. I went all over. The... Don't you have any friends of your own, Ensign? <laughs> Who is that man? Oh, I don't know, sir. I never saw him before. I see you're lushing it up again. I can't step off the base for one minute, but with my aid gets bagged. Me, sir? Oh, no, sir. Sir, I am never under the influence when I'm on duty. As a matter of fact, I must report that everything is under control on the base. Now, it better be. Sir, can I uh, buy you a little nightcap before you retire? Oh, a little nine. Well, uh, just one quick one. That's all. Oh, what'll it be, sir? I don't care. Whatever you're drinking, I don't. Oh, yes, sir. Steward, two Shirley Temples. <laughs> Shirley Temples? Well, that's what I'm drinking, sir. Oh, well, Roy, one of these days I like to bend your straw for you, Shirley. Would you sit down with a jerk? You get a lot of jerk. Could I have another straw? <laughs> 37, 38, 39, 40. 40. This is it. Skip. 40. Okay. All right, Tinker, bring in the dynamite. Dynamite? Isn't that taking an awful chance? 
Well, look, it's like cement under this dirt. If, if you don't blast, we'll, we'll be digging here all night. Holy mackerel, live by them. Oh, boy, come on, hit the brush. Here, get this. Charlie Temple's that carpenter with him inside. I wanted to make the base of Skelly. <laughs> oh. My glasses, where are my glasses? Uh, my hat. Where's my hat? My stairs are here, but my hat is gone. What are we gonna do? Well, the first thing is we get the hat back on the double. I'll try to stall Binghamton. Captain, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I saw it with my own eyes, didn't I? I mean, I didn't see it. How could I see it? It wasn't there. I don't understand. Uh, hi, hi, Captain. <laughs> Copy? <laughs> Captain, I thought you were over at Com Fleet. <laughs> I came back early. And Mikhail, so help me if you had anything to do with stealing my hut. Uh, <laughs> stealing your what? My hut. <laughs> What'd you do with it? Did you sell it to the natives to get Parker off the hook? <laughs> What's he raving about? He says his hut's disappeared. What are you two whispering about? Carpenter, are you in on this too? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Help me get rid of the hospital. <laughs> now, you just take it easy, sir. Yes, yes sir. Sir. But, oh, sir. No, 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 wait a minute, Captain. Tougher fighting men than you have cracked. Yes, sir. So, oh, just take it easy. Can't be giving me a hat. Right. I am not going to the hospital. Now, I'll prove to you that my hat has been stolen. No, 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 Captain, Captain. This, you think I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, you look right over there where my hat used to be. And what do you see? Your hut. That's right. My. <laughs> now, will you go to the hospital, sir? Well, well, I don't understand this. I walked right up those steps and I fell flat on my face. I don't understand it either, sir, because you didn't even have a Shirley Temple. <laughs> well, it's like I said, sir. It's just a touch of combat fatigue. Yes, well, sir. But he's never been in combat. He's just been sitting behind a desk ever since the oh, war. Shut up. <laughs> easy does it, sir. Oh, what a night. Yes, well, uh, a couple of good days rest in sick bay will fix you right up, sir. We'll, we'll go over there now and it'll give you a sedative and, well, you'll get a good night's rest. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. I'm too sick to go to sick bay. I've got some sedatives right in here. Are these the senators, sir? I'll, I'll fix them for you. Oh, no, you won't. I don't trust you. You try and poison me, you boys. Oh, I'll do it, sir. I don't feel well. Oh, what a night this has been. I just hope I have strength enough to get into my pajamas. How many pills should I give him? Well, he's, he's a pretty sick man. Uh, but I wouldn't stick my neck out, Carpy. No, sir. <laughs> if he oversleeps in the morning, he's going to blame you. <laughs> no, if I were you, I'd tell him to fix his own dose. Yes, sir. Smart thinking, Commander. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care what they say. You're not all bad. <laughs> hey, Captain. Sir, I'll just leave the sedatives on the table and you can fix the dose yourself. <laughs> Good night, sir. And, sir, I do hope that you wake up in the morning in full possession of your senses. <laughs> oh, I mean... Get out of here, you knucklehead. <laughs> Nighty-night, Captain. Uh, sleep tight. <laughs> Let's get the hut ready to move again. With the captain in it? Well, he's out like a light. Those pills did their work, boy. Good. Now, hey. wait a minute, Skip. I can't let you take this risk. Oh, come on. We're not backing out now. Let's go, you bunch of happy house movers. Come on.
take a sedative again. Bad side effects. <laughs> What in blue blazes going on here? You want to wake up, Captain Thingampton? Hey, what happened? The hut's uh, hung up on a stump or something. It's coming up kilt. Oh, brother, that's all we need. All right, come on, let's go. Let's give it a hand over here. Come on. Up, up. <laughs> I just want you to know it's a pleasure serving under you, sir, and I'll send you a postcard from the Aleutians. <laughs> Get up off of your knees. Get me off the desk. Don't let me. Get your silly hands off of me. Now, oh, you listen to me, you little pipsqueak. You listen to me, good. I'm going to get some answers here. Why is all this shaking and shoving? Talk, talk, talk. Are we dead? No, we're not. Not yet. Tell you what, you go by the dynamite and stand by. The minute I give you a signal, let her blast. Go on, move, hurry up. Say something. <laughs> What's new? All right, Captain, Captain, we gotta get out of here right away. Any second, the uh, wash machine Charlie's you any second, oh, yes, sir. Washing machine Charlie, what are you talking about? You're trying to steal my hat? That's what you're trying to do. Oh, no, sir. Why, boy, Mr. Parker here had a premonition that that nip had come right over and, and score a direct hit right on your hut. That's right, Captain, a direct hit. No, 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 no sir, no. You, you have no faith in his psychic powers, so we took matters into our own hands. Yes, we moved your hut to save your life. Well, you're sick. You're sick, sick, sick. I've never heard of such a feeble, ridiculous excuse. Hit the deck! It's an enemy attack! Enemy plane! Washing machine, Charlie, take cover, boys! Wait, I don't hear any plane. Wait, 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 it's an enemy plane, so he's gliding in. Yes, sir, it's a sneak attack. Down, sir, down, down. <laughs> Why, you little devil! There he goes! Uh, all clear now, Captain. Yes, sir. All clear. That's it. There he goes. Oh, look at that, sir! Here! Man, what a hole! Yeah, right where the captain's hut used to Listen, be. Listen, we could have been sitting ducks. Captain, if it hadn't been for Mr. Parker, that would have been your grave. <laughs> Not exactly, Skip. Uh, you see, in my premonition, the captain was blown up and out about a hundred yards. And then he started a hook. Uh, 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 spare me the details, boy. Spare me the details. Bless you. You saved my life. And your life is certainly worth more than a measly thousand dollars, isn't it, sir? <laughs> oh, my, yes, yes. Forget about the pearls. Plenty more where they came from, right, Chucky boy? <laughs> but, but no oyster can make a Binghamton. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's been a long day. I think I'll check into the sick bay like you oh. suggested. <laughs> Chucky, you stop by my office in the morning. I'm going to check with you before I make a move. I want to know about those premonitions. <laughs> I should have checked with you, Chucky boy. <laughs> Sorry, Wally. Here, let me help. Oh, what a war. <laughs> No way, Ray. You're, you're dreaming, Chuck. Oh, no, Skip. It wasn't a dream. It was washing machine Charlie. I saw the bomb hit the cook shack. It blew it sky high. Well, well, it must have all come down in one piece, then. You see? It's still there, like always. You had a nightmare, Pakasan. 
I guess I put too much chili peppers in chop suey. Yeah, come on, boys. Back to the sack. Come on, Chuck. Oh, that must have been my imagination, Skip, but I'm telling you, that dream was so real. I could just see this nip plane starting to make its run. And then it came barreling in, machine guns blazing. <laughs> Hit the deck! Man, when you dream, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Look, those crazy Japanese blew up my cook shop. How could you? <laughs> my own people. <laughs> tell you every little thing that's gonna happen. What about last night? Don't tell me that was just beginner's luck. Well, no. Matter of fact, my mother always said I was a little supernatural.